right, perfect timing for your holiday season. Young Bill Squire, along with Mary Santora and Martin Malloy, are going to put on a show for you. Bill's recording a new comedy special. Approachable called, funny. It's called <laughs> We're Getting Famous, We're getting right? famous, yeah. We're getting famous. We're getting famous. And it's going to happen Friday, December 22 at the Agora. Now, is this a situation where Bridget Linton could be in the front row? I would love it. Mm. Oh, if you want to, can I use my connects, aka you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this, this connect I can actually, I can set that up. If you want to be there in the front row, great. You know, we need the audience shots, so we'll have a nice, uh, we'll have a, a unapproachable hot girl right there in the front. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I love that. Yeah. AgoraCleveland.com. If you want to buy the tickets, if you want to win them, I got the last pair this week here for you, uh, for December 22 at the Agora, uh, to see Bill and Mary and Martin live. Call 10 216 578 or 800 348 If you can't beat them, join them. And if you can't join them, send a strongly worded letter asking why your application was rejected. Another helpful tip from the Alan Cox Show. On 100.7 WMMS. Those keywords. Now, people asking me, Alan, do I have to wait until December 22nd to see Bill live? That, I mean, I can't imagine that's possibly the case. No, you can actually see me tomorrow. I'm going to be in West Park at uh, Hatfield's Good Grub. Goody Grub. Goody Grub. Uh, <laughs> 8.30 show, $10 in advance, 15 at the door. So you can get those tickets to go to BillSquire.com. Is that Cam's Corner? That's Cam's Corner, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so come on out. Great food there, good times, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, the, you'll you'll be able to see basically what I'm gonna be doing for this special. But you can see it in advance. Ooh, a little sneak preview, little warm up, warm -up yeah. show. Yeah, Look at that. yeah. Next week on the show, I'm gonna hook you up with that Green Day show. Green Day have announced their 2024 tour. Green Day and the Smashing Pumpkins, and then they have a revolving door of opening bands. And we're gonna send you to the Labor Day weekend show in Pittsburgh. That is September the first. Uh, the night before Labor Day, so probably a long weekend for you already. They're going to play PNC Park. Uh, Green Day Pumpkins, the Pittsburgh date has Rancid and the Linda Lindas with them. So that is a quadruple threat right there. But uh, Green Day have announced, I think it's called the Savior Tour or something. And they're going to be celebrating 30 years of Dookie and 20 years of American Idiot, maybe? Something, anyway. So it's a big deal, but we're going to send you to Pittsburgh because as of now, they are not coming to Cleveland. Maybe they will add a date down the road, but we don't know. So that'll be all next week, Green Day in Pittsburgh, next September, Labor Day weekend. Also, Champions of Magic, if you're a fan of Illusion, uh, they're doing Playhouse Square in January. Hassan Minhaj is coming to do Playhouse Square in December, the Off With His Head uh, tour. And uh, then I'll have some movie passes for you next week, too. So that's all on the way. Um, director Rob Reiner is going to be on the show in the next week or so. That's well. cool. Yep. Talking about the Kennedy assassination. So I'm Ooh. excited to talk to him. And, oh, boy. So I had a handful of people send me the photo. I hadn't even seen it myself, even though it's my neck of the woods. People had sent me the photo. And I said, is this Photoshopped? Is this fake? It's not. Uh, my hamlet of Bay Village, Ohio, where I currently reside, uh, joins the cities of Cleveland, Ohio, and Parma, Ohio, and get one of those dumb script signs. Oh, wow. <laughs> Does it say the village? It says Bay Village. It's, it's on the lakefront there. It's in Cahoon Park, if you're familiar with that part of uh, Bay Village. Be like Lake Road and and uh, Cahoon Road there. That sounds like a park that would be in Bay Village. See, I thought, though, that there were a ton. I thought that had really blown up. I thought just about every town now had one of these script signs. But apparently it's only Cleveland and, and Parma that have them. I thought it was only Cleveland. I didn't know Parma. Yeah, I've seen oh, yeah, the Parma one. Parma's Parma's one. Yeah. They've had it for a little while, too. You know, I don't leave my downtown bubble, so. Right. Haven't seen you? much. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. <laughs> you, you gotta, Again, you gotta you're not missing it. much either. <laughs> but... Um, but the the of course, uh, Parma's got one, and uh, now we've got one out there in Bay Village. The Bay Village, Lorraine's got one, right? I think Lorraine well, does have yeah. one. Yeah. Th that's why I thought there were multiple because when I w we were coming back from Kelly's Island and went through Lorraine, we saw the Lorraine one. Right, it's right downtown. Yeah, Bay Village. This one is different though because it's got 
It's blue. Two colors. Yeah, yeah it's, it's got white the blue. With the blue on the sides there. Yeah. So anyway. Fancy. They, well, this summer so they had fancy. just finished building like this huge new playground area, like a brand new thing for kids or whatever. So I mm-hmm. guess maybe this was part of that. I don't know. I haven't even seen this. And so uh, just, I guess, maybe the starkness of the script. The people that were sending me the photo, I thought it was fake. And um, then Gwen was like, no, we got one. We got one of those. You should be a tourist and go take a photo with it. Well, tourist Mike, in your own hometown. Yeah, Mike from Parma uh, tweeted, how long until this thing's covered in Alan Cox those stickers? And I'm like, well, that's going to be a little uh, obvious. See, when we travel, I take show stickers with me, and then I tag places when I travel. That's a uh, cool idea. I love idea. Cleveland Scene. I love yeah. Cleveland Scene because they, they did an article about it, uh, and it says... Uh, at this rate, every suburb will have its own script signed by 2050. But it will take years to suss out the most suitable locations for those without <laughs> an obvious choice. In Lindale, for example, the sign will likely be perched above a police cruiser on I-71, <laughs> making it difficult for residents to visit. That's the speed trap, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I the script that. sign won't say Lindale. It'll say speed trap yeah. and an arrow mm-hmm. pointing down. <laughs> be like, you owe us money. <laughs> but I mean, you know, because a, a lot of places will have things that already have a collection of stickers on them, and I'll just add mine to it. But other times, if I'm feeling salty, listen, by uh, by definition, I'm not a vandal. I never have been, mm-hmm. right? Uh, I'm polite. I, I don't like to deface things, right? Right. Uh, but if I'm in another city and I'm feeling salty... I'll put an Alan Cox show sticker on something that doesn't have other stickers on it. Like when we were in Sedona, there was an electrical box on this one street, and it had a few stickers on it. It was was out the service entrance of a restaurant, Mm -hmm. so I slapped one on there. Well, so what were you feeling salty about that you felt like you wanted to slap your sticker on there? (laughs) No, not salty. Just um, sometimes I will put it on something that doesn't have other stickers. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? That like one, we, I'm yeah. just adding yeah. to the collection. There but then you sometimes go. if yes. you're salty, you're like, no, I'm going to stick mm, it right here. Right here. Everyone knows my name. So there, but again, these are other places that don't know who I am. So who yeah. cares? But uh, I've put them on. What pisses me off though is when we were in Louisville, I, I forgot to, I had them with me and I forgot to slap them on stuff. But like there's an Alan Cox show sticker on the side of a, of a set of so, stone steps in Paris. That's pretty cool. Now, whether or not it's still there, I don't know. I imagine the city comes through and takes care of graffiti and things like that. So, so that maybe, was one of those moments where it, was gone. Yeah, it, it was, wasn't a lot of stickers there? That was no. one you just did on your yeah. own. Yeah. But oh. like Austin and Seattle and, you know, so I'll take them yeah. with me. But we were just in Louisville a couple of weeks ago and I forgot to stay. And that would have mm-hmm. been a great place to do it. I mean, this restaurant we went to, like we first got into town, we haven't even checked into the hotel yet, but we had driven and we were just hungry. So we found that the hotel we were staying at was in the arts district. So I'm like, let's just find a place near here. And there are plenty of places. And one of them had this old clunky car out in front that was covered with stickers. I'm like, I got to come. Perfect. Yes. I'm like, I got to come back. I completely oh, forgot. God. So then I go, well, now I got to come back just to do that. You do, because you could but gain a lot worth- of listeners there. It's not that mm, far away. We got people in Louisville. And plus, like, uh, whatever. Uh, it's fine, right? But no, I'm not. I will not. Listen, the people in my community uh, are my uh, fellow. uh, I I wouldn't want to do this in my own community. You know what I mean? But you're like one of them. Well, I don't want to. I mean, it's pretty obvious. I mean, where you eat, yeah. (laughs) Like, this guy lives here, and they're all of a Look sudden his name is everywhere mm-hmm. on the script side. Trouble is, it would be really easy to frame me for that, too. True. So if you got any haters out there, now... I got you, plenty. You just, you just gave them a great idea. Oh, oh come on. I got plenty. Do you? <laughs> yeah, you do. Shut we up. All do. We all do. We all do. Oh, of course right. we do. Haters gonna hate. They are, aren't they? Yeah. Hate, hate, hate. If there's hate. one thing they can do, it's hate. Mm-hmm. And I want to erase the hate. Mm. There you go. I say, don't hate, participate. Mm. Oh, so so deep. <laughs> Got another uh, hater. Uh, yeah, right? <laughs> He's sitting <laughs> right next to me. He deserved one. <laughs> the call is coming from inside the house. Mm-hmm. Hey, it's a thousand bucks right here. It's a thousand dollars for you right out of the pockets of the buzzard bookie. An imaginary figure we created to give you money. So listen closely and good luck. 
this is your chance to bet with the buzzard bookie and win one thousand dollars now enter this nationwide keyword at wmms.com bills that's bills enter it now at wmms.com alan at the show is nick down in Cuyahoga falls Listen, in regards to the tipping conversation, Cody is the worst kind of person. You can tell the man's never worked a day in his life for tips. And the tip jar at the end of the freshman's counter, that doesn't really count. But, Cody, if you are truly that hard up for money, you are that strapped and that broke, your lazy ass ain't going to sit on the couch and order food delivered to you. If you are truly not making as much as you say you are, then you're taking your lazy ass off the couch or out of the bed, put some damn pants on, and go down to the store like the rest of us. You can use coupons. You can look for deals. You can buy over a week and a half's worth of food to make decent, healthy meals for well under 150 bucks. And that way you can avoid acting like the victim when it comes to tipping. That's just plain and simple. You're going to go save your money at the store. Anyway, love me, love you. Hate the show. Bye. Wow, you're talking about haters. Wow. That he Pound was... cake. I don't even think he was a hater. I think that was good coaching right there. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was that was a guy that was coming with Disciplining. some. Yeah, discipline saying, hey, this yeah. is, you know, this is where you need to be. But he's wrong. You, you and I both know, Bill, that I did work for tips. For a whole year, I worked for tips. So I where, you, where was that? That, that was at East End. But you weren't working. You weren't doing. You weren't the, working for you were getting, the tips. You were getting tipped out. Yes, you, you weren't were getting working tips. For tips. You weren't doing anything different to to try to generate tips. But what he said it wasn't accurate. It was part of the business model. Is tips. You were behind the bar. You're gonna get some of the tips. People don't tip. Uh, that bar back was extra good tonight. <laughs> tip, tip good. Multiple guys hounding Curry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love it. People are really mad about me not tipping, and I already said, okay, well, you got me. I just won't use the app anymore. That's it's fine. Like you don't have to. Ch- you're not going to change my mind because I don't feel like I'm wrong. So, oh yeah, for shiz, for shiz. <laughs> I don't. I don't feel like I'm wrong. If you don't like it, I know. All, you don't. all of those people have. A, that's usually their side hustle. If that's their only job, then that's that's unfortunate. But I'm not. I just want to be a blob and watch TV. I, I think. Tipping a dollar per item is more than enough. It is interesting, though, how personally people take money issues, Mm -hmm. right? Either pro or con in this tipping thing. What do they always say in relationships? What's the number one thing people in relationships argue about? Money. Money, right? (laughs) <laughs> it was like sex. I was, I was, I was like, I've, I, Star Wars. I've had plenty of other things they've argued about. Hey, where is she? But the number one in, in, is money, right? Yes. In, in committed relationships, mm-hmm. uh, it's money. So, But even outside that, people who aren't, you know, people are very particular and they take it very personally when somebody, I give Pound Cake credit. He pulled the curtain back on an opinion that he got a lot of support for, that a lot of people... Uh, would never mention, and he did it publicly. Got a lot of support to a massive and a lot audience. Of hate. Yeah, but that's the nature that's of the beast. Yeah. That's what it is. No, I agree. Good for but you. But he was Pound candid, mm-hmm. and now he has reverted to his shell out of spite. Um, yes, Pound Cake. I would like to ask you this because I feel like you're mm-hmm. like me. You're a people pleaser. You want people to like you. Is this going to bother you? How many people have come after you and are disagreeing with you on this topic? No, because people come after me for. Stuff that I don't even really dumber things than this. Way dumber. Like yeah. there, there was people that I'm not even gonna go over because it it's not even like worth it. But people will leave stuff on the reels that I post, <laughs> and this is the excuse for you guys to go back and watch my reels. They'll go, <laughs> like, the, the comments, the comments that people leave are just like downright disrespectful, and they'll mention stuff that has no context, and they'll be like, "You're the biggest moron, or you're an idiot," or, or I'm like, "Okay, yeah. well, you watch my reel. You went to my page. You know my app." Yep. Um, so I, I really don't care. I'm glad you have that mentality. It took me a minute to get there. But when people you are mean, to. and you're like, but you're all you're actually a fan. Like yeah, you're oh, literally right. searching me and you're yeah. telling me how awful I am, then don't bother so, me. Yeah. So when I won Best Sports Talker, or even when I was nominated, I sent Bill. <laughs> I, I sent I think I sent it to the group chat of uh, this guy. He would talk about it every day. He's just like uh you, you're trash. <laughs> you don't know anything about sports. You <laughs> suck, blah, blah, blah. And then once oh. I once it's I factual, <laughs> like he wasn't yeah. wrong. Okay, but then once I won, but not he, the point either. Yeah. Once I won, he was like, 
congratulations. I was like, wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> wait, I, why are you giving me congratulations? I was expecting, you know. That's why it's such a weird dance. That's yeah. why some people, and, and I've definitely had it a lot. I'm sure you guys have too, just because people are people. But killing somebody with kindness when they're terrible to you will eventually get them to the point where they go. But I don't kill them with kindness. I either. just had a bad day. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm like, wow, that's what you do when you have a bad day. Yeah. Well, I'm glad it was me and not your girlfriend <laughs> there, or your dog right. or you know. There, there was one guy. He commented on one of my videos and he goes, "That was a crappy joke. I saw the punch like coming." Blah blah blah. And I'm like, oh, thank you. Uh, give me some more criticism, criticism on some of my other jokes. He's like. No, I'm just gonna block you. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I think, like, I, I appreciated yeah. the input, and he's like, I won't watch any more of your garbage ass <laughs> comedy. I'm like, dude, just watch, watch it. Let me know what you think. No, I'm no, not give me some constructive criticism. I want, I want to hear what you have to say. I thought you actually had some valid points in that. That's fine. <laughs> and he just, he just ended up blocking me. And I was like, I don't know. Yeah, don't acknowledge that's no fun. fun. The, the, oh. the funny thing, like, I have one of my videos right now. <laughs> is just people arguing about the Mormon church because it's one of my stories from being a Mormon missionary and it has nothing to do with like like it's not pro church or anti church it's just a funny story of when I was in the Philippines and people are just going at each other in the comments about the Mormon church ex Mormons and current Mormons and it's been going for weeks and then every once in a while someone just like come at me and be like oh what do you do would you like don't quit your day job i'm like my day job is being a comedian too like what, what you, <laughs> yeah what, what don't do you quit your day do? i'm not, I'm not yes. breaking yes. rocks at the cargill plant yeah. like, listen i'm not arguing with you guys you can argue with each other right yeah. exactly a lot of the stuff that i get i i mainly know is jealousy because i get a lot of comments on the imagine being jealous of pound cake but you know, they are though <laughs> i am they, they are though because the 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 pictures that I post on my Instagram of me traveling, like if I visit Portland or any other place, Mexico, it's like, like, oh, he has rich friends. He stays for free. He doesn't have any responsibilities in life. He can just mooch off of people. I said, yeah, pretty much. I had a free place to stay. So, yeah, be mad. Uh, which, which is something that anyone would do in the same situation because it would be silly not to do that. He's like, oh, you, you, you don't... You don't want to pay for your plane ticket or a hotel. You you mooch off of your rich friends, and you, she used her credit card, and you didn't want to pay her back. I'm like, wow, you really are invested in this story. <laughs> you have <laughs> bullet details. points. Yeah, there's yeah. like a PowerPoint deck they've laid gonna, out for I you. I pay her back. I, I had a pound cake payment plan. That's mm, all. I'm PPP. I wasn't giving her all. You guys were the one that made me feel bad about it, so I had to pay her in full. <laughs> yeah, we did. We really bullied you. We into that shamed one. him into it. She said it was fine. She threw uh, Bridget. I had a friend of mine. She she has a spot in Mexico. She goes every year, uh -huh. and she was like, "This, this is my fortieth. I want you to, uh, uh, you know, come with me. This is a once in a lifetime. I'm not gonna turn forty again." I'm like, "Okay, sure." And so I didn't have enough money to go on the trip at that time. I, I was gonna do a payment plan, and when I got down there, uh, I beat my friends who I was traveling with yeah. down there. They were on a different flight because they were coming from California. So she threw her platinum card at me, and she was like, just put it under my name. She's like, it, it, don't worry about it. Just pay me when you can. And I was like, okay. And I was gonna. I was gonna give her, like, increments of, like, you know, 200 here, 300 here. And they're like, no, don't do that. She threw her card at you. And no, this is you. this was mostly Mary. Mary was the one going you at you. Guys, you all jumped in on that. I, I, no, really I didn't care. really care. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you guys are telling him you need to pay her back in right full now, immediately. In full right now, yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Again, mostly Mary. Yeah. Alan and I just kind of were like letting it be a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Let me break here. If you want to send a text, 35192 AlanCoxShow.com is where the pictures fly through the air, and we'll be back. The Alan Cox Show on 100.7 WMMS. And everywhere you go on our free iHeartRadio app. Rover's Morning Glory. She's nervous. You have a colonoscopy scheduled for the end of the week. I oh, tried no. to get into my wax lady because I wanted her to wax my butthole, mm -hmm. and she's booked until next week. So 